Hi folks, welcome to the channel and another Truck King news update. This is our first update of 2023 and surprise, surprise, we're talking about another electric pickup truck. Today, I'm here to show you this, the all new Ram 1500 Revolution battery electric vehicle concept. Just unveiled at the Consumer Electronics Show down in Las Vegas, this 1500 Revolution concept is truly a concept. Just look at the interior and you'll see what I mean. Ram is truly showing us here what they're capable of doing. I'm curious to see what from this concept actually makes it to production. So now let's dive into the details and I'll tell you what they have released to us. First of all, there aren't a ton of details on the powertrain. Ram says that there'll be one electric motor in the front and one in the rear, of course, giving this thing four wheel drive. Now, when it comes to charging, Ram says this concept is good for 100 miles of range in 10 minutes using 800 volt DC fast charging at up to 350 kilowatts. And one other interesting little note, Ram also says they're working on what they're calling the Ram charger. That's a fun callback to the past. And now this is gonna be an automatic charger that you'll install in your garage. So when you pull your truck in, the charger will move over to your truck, plug itself in. So you actually don't have to get out and physically plug that thing in. Some other brands have toyed with this. And of course, Ram hasn't announced anything, but it's neat to see them working on this. The concept also features rear wheel steering that has up to 15 degrees of articulation and full air suspension all the way around. When it comes to styling, Ram is trying to blend that kind of futuristic beauty with some brutal truck looks. Why don't you go in the comments right now and let me know what do you think of the styling on this concept. A couple of the cool things they mentioned are on the concept, there's no B pillar and they have these massive saloon doors, Ram calls them. Again, I don't see something like this coming to production, but it does look cool on the concept. Now, one thing I hope does come to production, pivoting tow hooks that can sit flush with the body. So it sounds like you're actually able to pull them out when you want to use them and then put them back in somehow to sit flush. That sounds pretty cool. I want to see how that works. Another piece of the styling puzzle here, 35 inch tires wrapped around 24 inch wheels. So yes, the rubber and wheel packages just keep getting bigger and bigger on all these trucks. Let's look inside now and you can see that Ram really focused on allowing you to customize this interior. So first of all, there's something called the Ram track system, which runs the length of the floor in multiple different locations. And you can actually then take the seats, the center console and move them around to anywhere on those tracks that you want. And once again, allowing you as the owner of this truck to totally customize your interior. I think that's a fairly smart idea. Now, besides the cool track system, we also have a mid gate here. This is something that we know from General Motors. It has come back in the Silverado EV and now Ram has it too. Now Ram's mid gate, you remove the lower section and then the glass it says is powered. And this is gonna allow for up to eight 18 foot long objects to sit in the truck when the tailgate is closed. And to fit things that are 18 feet long, you're gonna have to use a pass through into the front trunk or the frunk. You can see it here. Ram has it just like its competitors. It's a big trunk up there for allowing you to haul all kinds of cargo. And yes, it is powered so it lifts up and closes all by itself. And maybe one of the neatest features that Ram announced is a new set of third row jump seats. Yes, the truck is gonna have a third row and Ram says that this should allow six people because this truck has captain's chairs in the back. It should allow six people to ride in the truck. Now, sadly, there's no real clear photo of those jump seats. I really wanted to see them to see how they work. Um, you know what, if you look at some other coverage from CES, someone who's actually there physically can maybe get a better look at them. Because as far as I can see, there's not a lot of space behind that second row. These are probably just little tiny seats meant for kids, but still, that's a pretty neat innovation. And just the thought of a three row truck is pretty wild and I do wonder if that is the future. 
At the very back, RAM is also offering its multi-function split tailgate. So you can kind of see the whole setup here. When you open up that mid gate and you put that bed extender on, you're getting a serious amount of space to haul your cargo. Moving up to the front seat, RAM has designed this new work console, kind of to mimic what Ford has, which sort of pops up and allows you to either write on it or work on your laptop. That is pretty cool. Now let's talk about some of the technology. And the first thing we have to discuss is this massive screen that is a 28 inch screen but it's actually two separate sections you have a top and a lower 14.2 inch screen and the lower screen can actually detach you can use it as a tablet or you can reattach it to the truck in multiple places so it can become a screen that goes in front of the passenger it can also become a screen that mounts back there in your bed and allows you to control things in the truck from the bed we've had these kind of tablet style touch screens for a while now why not allow the owner to remove that thing use it you know remotely or plug it into the truck somewhere else so that's pretty cool Driver assistance, of course, was also top of mind here. So this truck has things like a rear view camera mirror that is gonna offer you a 360 degree view around your truck right there in your rear view mirror. There's a head up display that uses augmented reality to actually place the things you're seeing onto the windshield in a way that corresponds with the world in front of it. Now again, like the Chevy Silverado EV, this 1500 Revolution has a full glass roof and they allow you to adjust the opaqueness of that roof thanks to electrochromatic panels. So you can tint it or you can make it clear to allow all the light in. And now we get into some of the crazier technology. Ram has come up with a new personal assistant. Now it says that there will actually be a 3D Ram avatar on the screen that talks to you when you talk to the truck. So this will do normal things like play music and adjust some of the systems like the HVAC. But one of the other modes that it has is shadow mode. The so Ram says that in shadow mode, the truck will follow you at a safe distance behind you while you walk. So if you're walking across a job site and you don't want to leave your truck behind, you want it to come with you, put it in shadow mode and it will slowly follow behind you. Ram also says it will use its own cameras and sensors to avoid objects in the way. Of course, by now, if you pay attention to vehicles, you've heard of drive modes. Well, what about cabin modes? This new concept has those too. It has social mode, party mode, relax mode, and productivity mode. And that will change a whole bunch of different things within the cabin based on your settings. You also have a new intelligent storage app. So when you're out there in the world, it's gonna allow you to use your phone to scan whatever it is you wanna put in your truck. Now, if it's a product, you'll be able to scan the barcode, or if it's just something out there that you wanna pick up, you'll actually be able to dial in the measurements. And then the app will tell you, A, if your truck can handle it, and B, how to properly and best load it into the back of your truck. All of these apps are designed to make sort of the hard work that we do while trucking even easier. And I think most of those are a good thing. Now, I don't know how this would actually work in the real world, but it's another neat idea. Now finally, Ram also says that there's a number of built-in projectors on this truck. They say they're there to help the truck communicate things to you as the driver, but then they also double as just regular old projectors so you could project a movie up onto a wall and watch that from the front seat of your truck. Well, folks, we are coming to the end of the this one. Now, like I mentioned off the top, a lot of the things that Ram has shown us here probably won't make it to production. Things like the lack of B pillars, those massive saloon doors, probably the reconfigurable interior, even though I like that. Now, things like the mid gate and those third row jump seats, those are the kind of things I can see coming to production. And one thing I really hope does make it to production, because I think it's neat, is that removable lower half of the screen that allows you to use it like a tablet. Now, Ram says that we're gonna see the production version of this truck in the coming months. So probably summer timing, I would guess. And this is gonna be a 2024 model year. So we'll get the production model and then it's not gonna hit the road until either late this year or early next year. And you know what? We still need lots more details. However, there's one other thing I can share. Ram is already claiming that when the production truck launches, it's gonna have best in class range, towing, payload, and charge time. 
Now those are pretty big claims with the Silverado EV and the Lightning out there. So in the coming months, when we get all of that information, we're going to share it with you guys. And I can't wait to see what Ram comes up with. This uh, electric truck war is really heating up now. So like I said, that's it for this one. Please go below. Let me know what you think of the Ram 1500 Revolution concept. As always, while you're down there, don't forget to hit like, hit subscribe, hit join to become a member of the Truck King channel, and then come right back here to Truck King to see what we are testing next. See ya. Oh,